Come on, get up! Oh, I haven't paid the child support yet. Oh. You've overstayed your welcome. And ate half my SD cards. I liked it better when you didn't talk. You're making my ears start to bleed. Hey, you see this? This is what I'm talking about. This is truly unacceptable behavior. You know, if you're going to keep squatting here, at least you're going to help us on radio. Come on. Go on. Apologize. Sorry, what was that? I said apologize! I think we both know that's not really my thing. Look, we all know you want your chance in the spotlight, Grinch. But we have to all look good together. We can't be going at each other's throats to make the show look good to watch and fun. <sighs> okay, I guess. I'm... Sorry for telling the truth! <laughs> 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 All right, Mr. Grinch, you're no longer hosting. You're gonna be the one getting interviewed. Ooh, nice. Get a good, good glimpse into my medieval and well-polished personality. No. Frankly, we're running out of ideas for the Christmas special. So I want you to sit down right there so the green screen won't interfere with your hair color. What did you say about my fur color? Say like, like you look like a lamb. It's ridiculous. Nobody's gonna take you seriously. I mean, look at you, man. You're not much better. Mr. Jenny, you're a great teacher and I really appreciate it. So he thought and thought, schemed and schemed, then he got it. The career center soon would be unredeemed. So he ran with his plan. He believed he was wise as an old man. He cut and stitched till he couldn't anymore. Then right before he knew it, he stood before the school doors. In that moment, the Grinch remembered the little Susie Lou Who who helped him just last December, and he realized Maybe he could have been a little nicer.
The one we went to Okinawa, I was actually pretty good. Nobody said die hard either. Why is there a big green thing behind me? <laughs> oh, my thank you. Oh. Trying to say I'm a Viking? <laughs> just, just felt upset. Hey. Yeah! Hey. Oh, Works for me. <laughs> Made for you, for Bahala. How come I don't get anything? That's our new, that's our new logo. I didn't think about it. It's the new mascot. The new logo right there. I have a gift to give to you. Don't mind that it was partially opened already. What's this? I don't know. Find out. Wrap this well. Yeah. It did. Wow! I found it. Wait. There you go. Merry Christmas. Oh. Thank you. It's weird. Thing. Oh, it's great. Hello? Are you getting... I feel bad about it. Yep. They're so happy. Thank you so much. We got our mannequin back. Well, Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Hello guys and welcome to our Christmas special. I am here with Bo Vincent, Jaden Searles, and Emma Howard. And today we're going to be doing some Christmas trivia and Emma has come up with all of the questions and we have a little buzzard here to decide who gets to answer the question, whoever hits it the fastest. So do you want to start off with the first question, Emma? Yeah. So we're going to start off a little easy here. I think you guys will know this. What is the name of Santa's helper from German folklore who punishes bad children? Riley? Krampus. All right. Krampus Claus, which is also <laughs> a really good movie. How many reindeer does Santa have according to the poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas? Jane. Eight. Yes, you got oh that my so God. fast. I didn't know I that could, one. I, I know completely that I had like no idea. idea. A little that. harder here. Okay, what is the best-selling Christmas album ever? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> it's nonsense! I heard Riley's. You can go Jaden for the answer. Let's um, do Mariah Carey's, like the one you all I want try. for Christmas. No, Riley, do you want to try? Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with Justin Bieber. No, Mrs. no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which branch of the U.S. military operates the Santa tracker each year? Oh. I was about to say, I thought you were about to say Toys for It's tops. where, like, you. Yeah. Marine. Okay. Corpse. No, it, it involves flying. Navy. It involves Air flying. Force. Yes. Oh. <laughs> she didn't Air force. get that point. <laughs> I was the only one hitting the button, so I think I should. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I didn't know. <laughs> All right. I'm losing here. <laughs> yeah. All right. You suck. What festive holiday plant is actually an invasive species? Mistletoe? Yep. <laughs> Ooh, good job. I would not have known that. It's the only Christmas plant that everybody True. knows about. There's a like, Christmas tree. There's okay, but that's <laughs> a Christmas tree could be an invasive plant. Okay. Tree. Yeah, it's Next. not like people plant it on purpose. <laughs> Next question. Okay. What did the original St. Nicholas leave in children's stockings? Oh, we coal? No. Oh, well. Why would he, I don't know. Why would he have him a jerk? He wouldn't what be a saint it? if he did that. Um, <laughs> Potatoes. 
No. We what don't. We, we have this question in English. What she was, was a the saint. Answer? That means he's a good guy. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Tell me. It's gold coins. Oh, oh darn it. I'm getting a little harder here. Oh, Actor harder Peter here. Billingsley, not related Who's to that? Ashley Billingsley, <laughs> best known for his portrayal of Ralphie in A Christmas mm, Story, oh. makes a cameo in what other holiday movie? Oh, I don't know. Santa Claus? Elf. Yes, Elf. Whatever. It was Elf. What he, okay, so he was like the elf guy that like goes up to Buddy and he's like, he's like Buddy's boss kind of, but he, he I don't know, he's in it for like five seconds. I don't, <laughs> he's there. I don't know. I did not know I'm that. ready for the he's next like question. He's like a supervisor manager type guy in Santa's workshop. Is that next all the questions question. or is there another one? I think that's it. Okay. You guys did okay. I did horrible. <laughs> I won. I won. Jaden came in second. I, I lost. Wow. Okay. I really thought I was going to do great, but. I think I did decent. I think I did pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you play. think that you could have beat us in this game, comment down below. And thank you again, Mr. Swinford, for these bothers. Yes. Every year around this time, around Christmas o'clock, everyone holds their very own tradition. Whether that be decorating a tree, indulging in sugary treats, and even spending time with family or friends. Every single year we hold an annual tradition, me and my friends, where we create festive buildings and give each other presents as a pseudo Minecraft Christmas. Sean Weaver, Sean Weaver, I got you your greatest present ever in this inconspicuous dirt hut. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Go inside. It's Wait, it's everything I've wanted. Minecraft is a sentimental game for much of our generation. For me, the game and its iconic soundtrack brings back childhood memories of watching Minecraft videos on my iPod Touch in the weeks leading up to Christmas of 2013, watching the greatest Minecraft series of all time, Race to the Moon. For me, I used to stay up late at night watching people like ASF Jerome and Beijing Canadian play Minecraft minigames such as The Hunger Games and Money Wars. And even then, I still revisit those videos because they hold such good memories in my mind. For us, Minecraft is just as nostalgic as Frosty M. Snowman, Rudolph R. Reindeer, Nicholas J. Claus, and Yummy Candy Canes. And so we honor that tradition every year. This year, I wanted to build a sort of winter wonderland type thing since it'll be the server's fifth year of this annual tradition. It starts like the beginning of every Minecraft game, chopping down every single detectable stump in the forest. If Paul Bunyan is able to do deforestation, little old Schweaver shouldn't face the consequences either. Thankfully, I've already began construction on this wonderful Christmas land and have a tree centered in the middle of the ice ring. Since I was in the middle of construction, Evan, was there anything you specifically wanted for it? Maybe like a specific building? 365 days without candy canes. I want them. I need them, Sean Weaver. I need candy canes. So I decided on building a candy cane. Maybe just a few, just in case. Oh, and remember that forest I deconstructed? If only companies could make buildings that looked this good. And yes, I'm looking at you, modern McDonald's. After completing every single building in the Wonderland and decorating every little inch for that little jolt of jolliness, it's time that we got our friends together to see what they think of it. Do you want to tell me who you are? Hmm. My name is Tristan Michael Maddox. Uh, I live at Sm <laughs> can't say that, dude. <laughs> What's your name? Who are you in PC3? Uh, Emerson. I do funny tech. Um, what's your name? Um... <laughs> I'm actually one of the radio hosts. Okay. Chilling. Uh. Okay. You, I'm please. the co-host of Film Fight. What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Ashley. My name yeah. is Ashley. Yeah. This one is Tristan. If we didn't get, I'm sure we did get that. We got a lot from you, actually. Do you guys? Are you guys ready for Christmas? Are, are we sure we can pass without Ashley getting jumped? Yeah. Five, uh, six, wait. Nine, actually, seven. that's a good point. Uh, uh, we should be fine. If any case, I have my Christmas sword. I fell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of Chris. You guys yeah. hear that? That's 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 the Christmas oh, man. That's I uh, Santa, Santa Claus. Does anyone have Christmas. any extra fish? <laughs> now uh, build back up and Father then to the bridge. Christmas would like to know what on earth you guys are doing oh. and what's uh, taking so long. 
You see, we're enduring the harsh weathers of summer right now. Oh, yeah, Christmas you guys land. have to go through the southern hemisphere right now. <laughs> yeah. It's Santa Claus! It's me, it's me. I'm actually, oh. uh, uh, yes, I am. I am Santa. Fine. Nice. It's Santa Claus! Totally not Evan. Uh, welcome to Greenland. All right, we just got to make the trek up past the Rockies. Okay, <laughs> Christmas is just over yonder. <laughs> I see a tree! Long miss. Is this Whoville? That's not Whoville. Oh, he wants to come sleep with me in the Christmas, Christmas shed. Gun. <laughs> Christmas gun. Oh. oh my god! Christmas, Christmas gun. Everyone's just, everyone just lying gun. after they shot with a Christmas gun. Ah. So this is the, the Christmas Thanks. shack, right? So you go it's here, adorable. and there this might be Christmas diamonds Christmas. inside, yeah. I don't know I why don't... everyone's going down there. It's yeah. really just, it's really just uh... Oh, this poor guy! Christmas, Christmas time! Christmas. It's just, it's Christmas. just a pathetic mind. You did it! Uh, yeah, so, this is where you can go and dine in if you want to eat with your friends. And then there's some little... I little don't have any friends. There, Emerson, but... you look like a business executive who's about to find the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> I am. You're about to fund our... Who am I looking at right this now? This is our pitch. Oh, that's, uh, that's a, a snow guy. Snow guy. Uh... That's a snowman, what do you mean? That's but a normal snowman. Like. Right. Over here <laughs> is the snowman. This is the snowman. The That's snowman's over bench. here. Oh my god. He's quite Whoa. tall. Whoa. Smelled like the Grinch. <laughs> oh, that's probably Tristan. We met the Grinch on the radio. We did meet I the remember. Grinch on the radio. Ooh. So, who would like to be the first one to open? <laughs> open I nominate open Emerson. Back. Emerson? I also nominate Emerson. Emerson, go ahead. What's in, what's in, what's in your chest? Oh. Oh. oh got, that's a. <laughs> ooh, you oh, got, you got a good, you, you got, we were pretty good this year. Two bedrock. Peter Griffin here to explain the joke. Bedrock is a block that once you place it, you cannot break it and it's there forever. Ooh. I got five diamonds and I got George. You got George? What is, what is a George? Okay, let's We'll meet George. George. We'll meet George in a minute. I don't okay, think George okay. would like to come out yet. George, oh, not yeah, a yeah, yeah. is George not we need a to make person? sure the area is clear. Ashley, step up. Ashley, step up to your Christmas present that has your name conveniently placed on the front of it. Oh, all right. Well, I got a silly stick. Ooh, you silly oh, stick. No. What's a silly stick do? Dude, I want you to hit Evan dangerous. with the silly stick. Oh. Yeah, hit Evan Go with hit the silly Evan stick. with the silly stick. Yeah. <laughs> this work. Okay. Yeah. Open. Yeah. Ooh. Uh oh. What? That, that doesn't <laughs> oh, sound no. good. What you? <laughs> Which one of you guys got George? <laughs> oh, I did. Here, you wanna? I think we should be George. You wanna? Right you wanna see if George is a? Down? Yeah, let's put I George should, down. George! George! Oh my God! Oh! George is a little bigger than that. Uh, is is yeah? Is George okay? Okay. He's a little creepy right now. Oh, he's just okay. Oh. There he goes. Bye, George. Uh, he's floating away. Bye. Should we just leave George to his own demise? I think we should let. I think we should let him. <laughs> <laughs> if you could rate Christmas one out of ten, Chris Kringles, what would you rate it? Mm, I'm gonna say eight. Eight Chris Kringles. Who's a Chris, and why you Kringle? That's not an answer. It's not an answer. Okay. <laughs> um, I rate it a 10 out of 10 Kringles of Chris. Uh, 7. 7? Why, jo George, why so George knocked off a good few <laughs> oh, <laughs> you didn't, uh, Chris Kringles you on didn't, there. You didn't rock with George too well, no? Uh, no, nah, I, mean, I don't think me. we... Yeah. George is... Mean. Well, in, in all fairness, George is off to his own world right now. He's a now. short temper. He does, too, have a short temper. I would be careful going mm -hmm. back up there. We don't know where George is. Even at Christmas, doesn't always go as planned. You can always rely on your friends to have a really good time. Where's the candy canes, Weaver? I need the mint! Oh my god, okay. Um, um, I'm gonna go. Um, I'll see you again! Merry Christmas! Man, this December is really boring, but at least it's better than October. Man, this October is really boring.
Ah, the sweet smell of December. I like this month, as well as this candle. Ah, now time for some more. Wonder who that could be. Well, looks like I ought to check my mailbox. Alright, let's see. Boring. Dumb mail. Man finds a hole and goes into it. Interesting. Bland. Junk. To Rocco from Anonymous. Huh? Dearest Rocco, you might be wondering why you're getting this letter. Well, there is a Christmas legend where somebody gets chosen to find a mysterious gift, which is me, and is in North Dakota. But here's the catch. You will come across three enemies, but you won't know who they are. So to find the gift, you need to go through these coordinates. Who sent me this? Do I want this gift or not? Eh, I may never know what's in it if I don't. I think I got everything I need for this journey, but I think I need some sort of GPS so it can guide me through this adventure. Hmm. TBG. What does that even stand for? The Best Guider. Oh, okay. Well, looks like it's that time again. Now, time to choose my next victim to fool. Oh, well it looks like it's time for him now. Time to give him the worst of the worst. Where am I? You are a day once in Iowa. Huh. It looks like a field. Ah! What was that? And who threw this at me? Huh? Who are you? 
Ah. Dude, stop! Never! Ah. All right, that's it. I didn't even get to throw my fourth plushie. You're already dead? Dang, what I mean you are. Wait, where am I this time? You are in Gettysburg in South Dakota. Gettysburg? I thought that was a stock image company. <sighs> Whatever, I must be getting close to North Dakota anyways. Why is the GPS telling me to go through this building? Strange. Where am I? Ah, Mr. Cod. Welcome. Why am I here? To stop you from retrieving that gift. Dude, you don't even know what's inside. Why do you care about it? Because what if it's a billion dollars, a key to a new Lamborghini? The world may never know what it is unless you get to it. Well, I was chosen to get the gift, not you. <laughs> You see, the kicker is, is uh, there's other people that were chosen to get it as well, unlike me. And what happened to them? Well, they didn't read the full letter, and they died on the way there. Let me guess. You know what I mean? Oh, yes they did! And you're next! <laughs> Are you ready to die? What's that? It, it's my sword! What do you think this is? The nerds rope without the nerds? No question! Prepare to die. No, uh. How are you? You don't have the guts to beat me. Yeah, you're right. But you know what I do have? What do you have? Drawing skills. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, wait, what are you doing? Killing you. Looks like you lose. Oh. Wait. Is this where you're even supposed to be going? TBG, where am I? You are in Grand Forks in North Dakota. Huh. Strange. Give me a gift inside of a school.
It's a gift. Yes, and I didn't even need to use Tetris 2 or MLB 2K11. Now, time to see what's in this gift. What? A shoe? An American Psycho? I don't even have a DVD player. This is a mistake. This is pointless. No, 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 no! That's not how this was supposed to happen! Great! Now he's gonna tell everyone how this was just a scam! Well, time for plan B! Hello and Merry Christmas, it's Ruthie from PC3 and I'm going to talk about like stocking stuffers, kind of like de-influencing, anti-haul. Stocking stuffers are supposed to be like less than 30 bucks, relatively small, and just not like super extra and out of the way. Well, that leads me to my list of things that you probably shouldn't ask for for your stocking stuffers because you're not gonna get them so i want to talk about the elephant in the room drunk elephant skincare i've seen like on tiktok a lot of 12 year olds asking for it and it's like no because it's bad for your skin you're 12 it's gonna literally peel off your skin so as of now that I'm editing this, the brand actually released a statement saying that 12 year olds can use their skincare, but I don't believe a word of it. So don't do that, don't ask for that, especially if you're 12. Again, if you're 12, it's gonna peel off the top layer of your skin, so you don't need that. That leads me to my second point, Sol de Janeiro. I see so many 12 year olds asking for like $50 body sprays. Your mom's not gonna buy that for you. Your grandma's not gonna buy that for you. I'm not gonna buy that for you. Hmm, that leads me to another point of people asking for AirPods for a stocking stuffer. Your parents aren't gonna buy you AirPods for a stocking stuffer. That's gonna be like your whole present. And same thing with people, like, like literal 10 year olds asking for the iPhone 15. First of all, you don't need a new iPhone 15. If your phone works just fine and if you're 10 you're not getting that so yeah don't ask for really expensive stuff for a stocking stuffer thank you this is ruthie from pc3 media merry christmas happy holidays happy new year With the holiday season here and with the NFL season coming to an end, the Christmas games are upon us. Wow, this season has flew by so quickly, but I guess time flies when you're having fun. So with that being said, let's fly into these Christmas games. First up, Raiders vs Chiefs. The Chiefs, put it simply, are not that good. Despite being a team, the NFL loves to milk. They seem not to be the same dominating Chiefs as before. The Raiders, on the other hand, are, are doo-doo as well, but they just put the Chargers on their deathbed as they blew them out 63-21. to Just remember, Bears fans, it could always be worse. Anyhow, I still have the Chiefs winning this game because, well, they're at home and they also have Mahomes, get it? Yeah, Boy, okay, yeah, 24 to 20, Chiefs are gonna win that one. Up next is the Eagles and Giants. To be front, the Giants are looking a lot better, is what I would have said before last week's game against the Saints. 
And the Eagles, on the other hand, are, eh, they're kind of struggling as well. With that being said, the Eagles are the way better team, and they should, without a doubt, win this game, as it's probably one of their easiest games left. 38-17. to Finally, the game we've all been waiting for. Ravens versus 49ers. A potential Super Bowl matchup and the best game of the night and even the best game of the week. The 49ers are pretty dominant. The Ravens, also pretty dominant. They have both Clemson playoffs and divisions. This should be a game to remember. And with Christian McCaffrey, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Queen, Bosa, just to name a few, I predict the Niners are still going to win this one in a close one, 28-27. And with that, that's going to um, wrap up uh, my Christmas predictions. I oh, hope they are true, and I hope I don't go 0 for 3 again. Hi, PC3. I'm Maggie Vincent. I'm Ashley Billingsley. I'm Bo Vincent. I'm Sean Jenkins. Um, we are going to do a gingerbread uh, making contest. Yeah. So, me and Ashley will be on the team making a gingerbread house, and Bo and Sean will be on the team making a gingerbread house. Maggie building gingerbread houses, is she even tall enough to reach over the table? Um, yeah, so Sean has no artistic ability at all, so this will be interesting to see. It, it's honestly a blessing that he got Bo on his team. I mean, he's a guy. Exactly. So, I think enough said. <laughs> and Ashley are coming out the gates very strong. And there's Sean, doing absolutely nothing to help Bo. Bo is just gluing away with that frosting, and Sean's just holding it. My prediction is probably gonna fall. And, oh, 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 it looks like it's actually going good. And it almost fell. Like I said, and we're back to Ashley and Maggie, and they're actually working very well. And they might already get the roof on, which is actually pretty insane, because, uh, Mine would have already fallen over. And now they are getting the sides on, it looks like. But, and then there's Sean and Bo. Yeah. Uh, I really don't think theirs is going to end up well. I think it's going to fall about a thousand times, precisely. Bo's really doing all the work. Sean's just standing, looking there. It looks like he's just laughing. Tom fooling around. Ha, ha, ha. And there's Maggie with the precise frosting. Oh my gosh. Oh, she got the first side of the roof on. She's holding it steady. Let's see if she puts the other one on. Oh, she's no, more precise frosting. And she took a look of it. Oh, and, there, and another one. Uh, not, oh, geez. Oh, not, not precise that time. Looks like Sean's just... And Sean let it fell again. Oh my gosh. Sean, you need to like hold on to it better. Or like maybe switch roles with Bo. But... Yeah, it didn't fell again. And again. It's probably gonna fall again in about three, two, one. And it did fall, but it's gonna fall one when we pan back. I'm already I can already see it. Maggie looks like she's actually using her fingers to spread the frosting on the roof. It could work, but it's more stable than Sean and Maggie. Sean and Bose, so I mean it's I'm thinking that Maggie and Ashley are gonna win this hundred percent of the way. <coughs> And Sean had to grab some paper towels, but there goes Bo, frosting away. And it looks pretty good. She puts it on, and she messed up. Back to Ashley and Maggie. Maggie's just looking away. That is a lot of frosting on top. Oh my gosh. There is so much frosting on top of that thing, you do not understand. Like, it's not even frosting. It's like, I, I don't even know. Oh, there goes Bo. She's doing the same thing your sister did. Time for decorating, and oh my gosh, that is so much frosting on top. That's not helping, Bo. Oh, it's probably for the decorating. Yeah, that's my fault, guys. And looks like they're gonna put some, I would assume some like, those little, you know those red little circle thingies? That's what they're gonna put on there. That's my prediction. Oh, the green thingies? What the heck are those? They, they're, they're, I'm just, they, Sean's just eating them. He's not even decorating, he's eating them. What a good partner you are, Sean. They're not even, like, decorating. Sean's just over here eating away on his phone when he should be helping Bo. Right now, Bo's the MVP of this team. Sean is MVP, not valuable player. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, wait, that actually looks pretty fire. It's probably going to fall here. And it fell. That set them back pretty bad. 
and looks like they're screwed. Sean's hold, just holding it, and he could be helping Bo, but guess what he's not doing? Helping Bo. Come on, Sean. You should be helping Bo. And Bo's putting more frog. I don't think it's going to help, but let's be real. Let's be real. Oh, Maggie. Oh, oh. Maggie and Ashley says, looks like it has not fallen once. It's looking really, really sturdy. They built this really well. And I think they're going to put some more frosting on the gingerbreads, the gingerbread mans, and decorate the gingerbread mans. I, that's like bonus points for me if I was a judge. That's like plus 100. Let's be real. Maybe even plus 200. Like, oh my goodness. That was really cool. I liked that. Looks like they're just de decorating the gingerbreads here. Oh, they look like little people. Hee <laughs> hee. And I think they're going to put the gingerbreads in front of the house or like on the house. But right now, Maggie's putting stuff on top of it. Looks like little candy cane balls. But yeah, Ashley's just decorating away on that gingerbread. She is focused, locked in, in the zone. So is Maggie. Jeez. Maggie and Ashley are in the zone on them gingerbread mans. Oh, look at Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh, I think they're putting stuff on the wall or on the side there. That'd be really cool. And Sean just stole something from Maggie. That is very... That's minus five points of Sean and Bo's team. Minus. Subtraction on that thing. Their thing has not fallen once. Hasn't even, like, tilted or anything. It's the most sturdy gingerbread house I have ever seen. It's insane. You don't even know, like... That's just crazy. How do you do that? I mean, if it was being Sean, though, it'd be a different story. Let's be real. Looks like Sean's stealing something again. And I think Ashley's been decorating this thing for about two minutes. We've seen Ashley decorating for two whole minutes. Decorating that gingerbread. This better be the best looking gingerbread. I, I it just, it has to be the best gingerbread I've ever seen. It better be, or else I'm gonna be very disappointed. And oh my gosh, it has pink hair. And it looks like they're, oh, they're coloring in the stars. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. And their house looks, 100% better from the last time I've seen Maggie, Bo, and Sean's. And Ashley's decorating away on the top of that roof, which looks very, very good. And I feel like when we go back to Sean and Bo's, it's going to look pretty bad. Like, I don't think they're going to have any decorating done. <laughs> Ashley's still... I think that's gel. They're gelling in. Yeah, they're just gelling in. They're gelling away. Maggie... I think Maggie's over there helping them. That's how bad they're doing. Ashley's like got a knife like be careful because when Ashley has a knife you don't know what's gonna happen she's chilling again and again and again Maggie I don't know oh Maggie's putting snow in the front yard that is genius bonus points oh my that is a big glob of glue oh my goodness that just looks like a splooge of frosting there O M G. That is crazy. Jeez, Ashley's just using her finger like, oh my goodness. And Sean's stealing stuff again. And their whole entire house is destroyed. Oh my, it's not even a house anymore. It's not even a house anymore. Their thing is absolutely got freaking coconut mauled. It got destroyed. That thing is gone. It's not even a house. No gingerbread is like, yeah, it's terrible. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not going to end well for them. I think Maggie and Ashley already won. Sean and Bo is like, what just happened? Like, this is all Sean's fault. Sean could be helping so much more, but he's not. He's over there. And, oh, let it fall again, Sean. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fall again. I'm telling you. Looks like Sean's put more frosting on. Like, that's going to help. It's not. Didn't, didn't work last time. Bo's just laughing. And they put it on. Oh. It might stay. Will it stay? Is this the dagger? I repeat, is this the dagger? Sean put more frosting on that roof. It's not going to help. They put the other side on. Is it? Will it work? Will it stay? Will it be good? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's there. It's probably going to fall again, but who knows? Now, they have zero decorating done, like I predicted, and Bo's just smothering the top of it with frosting like oh my goodness calm down don't need that much frosting You're probably already out now from how many times this thing's fallen over jeez jiminy christmas uh this is this is the thing that would not make me in the christmas spirit let's be honest i would not be in the christmas spirit if i was watching Bo and sean 
with this darn darn gingerbread house. Jeez, oh my goodness, bro. They need to start decorating. Sean's over there. Blah, 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 blah. Like he needs to get over there and grab some like tools and stuff. And oh, there we go. Good job, Bo. Yeah, Bo did that. You know who didn't? Sean. Sean didn't do that. He needs to be decorating. Instead, he's on a phone again. Get off the phone, Sean. <sighs> I don't care if you're like help record. You need to decorate the house to get points. That's what you need to do, Sean. And Bo's just smothering him again with frosting. Jeez. I think she's putting some... I think she's copying her sister in the front. Sean is doing nothing. It's gonna fall. Uh-oh. Sean's decorating the front. He's decorating the front. Oh, it's actually looking pretty good. Nice job, Sean. I'll give you props for that one. But whatever you did on the top of that house... I don't know, it's kind of questionable. But it's a little shaky every time you guys touch it. So, yeah. No, not so hot. Oh, there we go. There we go, Sean. Sean, I'll give you a, give you a boost for that. Boost the confidence on that one. From yours personally. Yours truly. Sean's just playing with the toys. Playing with the stuff on the, in that bowl. Bo's doing everything. And Bo's, yeah, she's still doing everything. But everything on the left side. Sean's sitting on Maggie's phone. And he's trying to, who knows what, but he is giving no effort whatsoever. Those points I just gave you, gone. So you're back down to negative. Bo's decorating the front there. Sean's just, geez, Sean's just dumping all the frosting on the top. Oh my goodness. Jeez, dude. Cooling on the frosting, man. Whoa, dude, it's just frosting, dude. Come on, dude. Looks like they're going to try to put the gingerbread on top of the house. Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know what Bo is doing with the gingerbread, but looks like the gingerbread is in the front of the house. Thank the Lord, because if it was in the on top of the house, automatically disqualification. And it looks like there's done. I think it looks pretty good. And oh my gosh, this might be the best gingerbread house I've ever seen. If I can see what it looks like from the front, it's literally the best thing ever. Looks like Maggie drew like a road in front. Like that is really cool. I really like it. I like all the designs and everything. I like the stuff on top. And I think they have like a cool door too. And they got like snow on the on the outside and stuff. It looks really good. But it looks like Maggie and Ashley are gonna come out on top. We'll see from the judge though. We will. I think it's Maggie's dad. So yeah, they're probably gonna give it to Maggie. He's probably gonna give it to Maggie and Ashley. Let's be honest. Okay, so take a look at each house and declare the winner. This is the winner. <laughs> he didn't even look at it. I did already. That's how one thing came in. This one's sloppy. <laughs> and this one's nice. It's Love not even yourself. done. There's okay. holes there's holes in the roof. It's oh. leaking. Clear winner. <laughs> Alright, you two, how do you feel about losing? I knew we were gonna lose in the first place, so. Jeez. Sean? <laughs> we knew we were gonna win. Yeah, no doubt. Didn't have a single doubt for a second. No, nope, not one second. Considering that uh, their house collapsed halfway Multiple through. times. Yeah, multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Sean's a dude, like we said. He's not very good at art. art. He's, he's not an artiste like me and Ashley are. No, so. we are the artistes. Well, more so Maggie, but. Ah, Master Wark, good to see you again. Ah, it's a shame Master Todd won't be joining us this year. Ah, for this Christmas. It is indeed. Well, at least there's one good thing this year for Christmas. Good to see you again, Ethan. Oh. Dick Grayson. 
Master Dick showed up earlier this morning. Excellent time, as always. How have you been? You know, things have been good now I'm the leader of the Titans, and I got a girlfriend. Starfire? You know it. Not very dick. Wait up, what? <laughs> Ah, the tree is as beautiful as it is every year. Ah, uh, yes, but it was rather difficult without Master Todd's help until Master Dick showed up. I'm always willing to help. Still missing the star. Yeah, usually have Master Todd put up there every year, but now he's gone. Yeah, such a shame. Oh, by the way, when I arrived, hmm. I found this tape to the door. Nigma, not again. Greetings, Detective. It is I, Edward Nigma, the Riddler. I'm sorry to hear about your little boy wonder running away from home. Lucky for you, me and my genius just happen to know exactly where he is. I'll tell you, but first, you'll have to solve all of my riddles. Oh, and don't be ashamed if you need a hint from me, Dark Knight. We all know I'm the smartest man in Gotham. Anyways, here is your first riddle. I have no doors, but I have keys. I have no rooms, but I do have a space. You can enter, but you can never leave. What am I? Oh, and P.S. If you don't solve all the rules by Christmas morning, you will surely be having Robin for dinner. I have no doors, but I have keys. What could this be? It's a keyboard, Alfred. The back computer. Yes. How much time do we have? Not enough. To the back cave. Wait for me, boys. Come on, hold up. Wait for me. Why would the Riddler want us to check the back computer? The Riddle wasn't for the back computer. Then what computer was it for? When I sent the Riddler to Arkham, I received a package two days later. Nigma have already escaped from Arkham, and the package made me aware of that. What was in the package? It was a laptop with a question mark on it. Through that, the Riddler was able to send me video messages. Where are you keeping this laptop? Nightwing, take this and find something on it. What are you sorting for over there, Master Wart? Two days ago, the killer moth escaped from Arco and was stealing something from one of my warehouses. I just stopped him last night. I'm seeing if any other super criminals have escaped Arkham in the past few days. And what purpose does Moth have there? 
He stole this. Mmm. This movie disgusts me. Me as well, Alfred. But I believe this is part of a bigger plan. The Riddler was in this movie. And he just so happens to be saying this riddles. Do you got anything? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, here you go. <laughs> I believe the Joker was behind this. Joker was defeated in the Langstrom house and now is in Arkham. At the moment, yes. But it happens the Bane and the Mad Hatter have escaped from Arkham as well. Their cells were on either side of the Jokers. <laughs> you find anything? Yes. Somebody just sent me this. I know that street. That's Meadow Lane. Well, looks like it's time for us to get going. Looks like it's going to be a long Christmas. <sighs> Where am I? Ah, go on and have some more tea, Batman. Jarvis. <laughs> Go on and have some more tea. My tea. My special tea. <laughs> it's my special tea, Batman. <laughs> Jarvis, if you let me go and tell me the Riddler's plan, I'll let you keep your legs. Oh, Batman, I don't recall Alice ever threatening the guest at the tea party. <laughs> Enough of your games, Jarvis. Why side with the Riddler? Riddles, riddles, riddles. Oh, I love riddles. I have a riddle for you. Why was Alice late for tea? Because she fell down the rabbit hole. Ah, clever bat, clever bat. Almost as clever as the Cheshire Cat. Let's have another go, shall we? With a fluffy white coat and ears standing tall, what burrowed the hole which Alice did fall? Easy, the white rabbit. You are correct, Batman, but I did not find that to be so easy. Why not try to be a little less greedy? I have a riddle for you, Adder. If you get it correct, you can give me as your Alice. But if you get it wrong, you tell me what the Riddler's plan is. What? The bat now has a riddle? Must be trying to make an example. But I guess now I'm the one to gamble. <laughs> You've got a deal. Riddle be this. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But if it's denied, it's violence you may find. Is it death? Wait, wait, no, it's fear. Which as your you choose, does America's either one make you live? What? You're not the one who's supposed to rhyme. Oh, Batman, looks like you're out of time. But before I kill you, please tell me the answer to your riddle. Justice. <laughs> Last chance, Jervis. Tell me where the riddler is. Oh, really, Batman? No tea for you? How about some MTN2? Jarvis, I swear to the Dark Knight. I <laughs> Fine, fine. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. The Riddler has been working with a mercenary called the Red Hood. And who is the Red Hood? I, I don't know. He wears a mask, and I was afraid to ask. Where are they now? Oh, Batman, how I plead. All you had to do was finish your tea. Boy, is it even a word. Sweet Alice.
I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. Jervis, you are the maddest man I've ever met. But you are also the saddest. Hi, my name is Tristan Vanderwood. I am 11 years old and I play Timothy in the film Saved by Santa. My character is a very passionate kid who loves Santa. I mean, he's my hero after all. When bad guys come to kidnap me and hold me ransom, I keep faith that Santa would come and save me. But wait, is it actually Santa who saves me? I mean, the real Santa? I guess you guys will have to figure that out when the movie comes out. Acting in this movie was so much fun and a great experience because I'm pretty sure I'm the only kid in my grade who has acted for a short film. And honestly, acting in Saved by Santa kind of made me feel like the young Macaulay Culkin Although it might be past Christmas, all I want is for you guys to see me in Saved by Santa coming out in January 2024.